Well, hello, uh, welcome back. Thought I'd do a quick little tutorial. We got an update to Schmuck Creator today and it has, it has uh, basically a new, um, a new update to the end level game object, uh, which is here, end of the level. And you'll see it lets you now um, essentially link to other levels, um, not just the next level. So super, super cool. Thought I'd run you through a quick little way that I did set up for this, and uh, we're still debugging and doing things, but uh, let's uh, let's jump into it. <clears throat> so let's see, go to perspective mode. So one of the things I'm doing is I'm doing a, essentially like a, a an overworld, very classic video game style. And um, here, maybe I'll just show you first. So here you can see it says uh, tutorial dojo or level one Srebus Island approach or uh, level two. So you can cruise through the world and you can activate these teleporters um, to go into the levels. So, a um, couple things you should know. One is when you have um, an end level trigger and you're looking at it during the, uh, the uh, runtime for the editor, it just basically puts you back into edit mode. So um, that means that in order to test the proper level uh, changes, you have to build the game and then run it as standalone. Not a big deal, but you guys should be aware of that. Okay, so how did we create this? Um, so basically, a couple things that I did is um, I decided that I wanted to um, have large trigger volumes. So you have a trigger game object, trigger here, and then we use the player goes into the zone, and then I used a larger zone for me. It'll be different based on your camera FOV, but you know, you play with it. So easy enough to adjust. And basically what happens is um, when I am inside this area, it triggers the text, which is the tutorial dojo level text in this case. It also triggers um, a text object that has been set to picture. So I did basically um, uh, essentially the, a portal. So I just did a very basic like frame uh, animation there. And then I also have a trigger property, which is smaller, that basically sits, uh, it's about the same size as the, as the portal itself. And uh, so this trigger here, which is also player enters, then triggers the end of level. Um, so a couple things you should know, um, and also maybe uh, back up here. So also we have a, an effects, which is basically just a glow that kind of shows up um, with the portal itself, just to give it a little bit of a, some, some nice, uh, nice glowiness. So I stack all these things together and you have essentially this. We add a little fade to that. Um, and then, you know, that way players can see it beforehand. They don't stumble into it too, too quickly and they can decide which levels they want to go to. Um, a couple things to know, these are gotchas. <clears throat> so one is this level list is determined by your levels, no, nothing special there. But over on here, uh, if you're new, you may not have noticed that um, you have an ex include and exclude level from the build. So that level list is built from which levels you've included or decided in to exclude. So if you turn that off, then you're excluding it, turn it on, you're including it. So that was one of the, the other uh, big gotchas. And then, um, yeah, I think those are the main things. So here, how about I just um, jump in and show you real quick uh, one of the transitions. Okie doke. Um, all right, so we'll go to playing the standalone game because we made a build earlier. Turn off that music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is going to be super fun. We basically now can create secret levels. You can create uh, basically criteria to allow you to get into uh, other levels based on like score, medals. Um, you can do alternate levels where you do a copy of the level and a basically... Um, uh, make it a harder version, so like challenge levels. So yeah, so um, yeah, so here we go. Let's go to the tutorial dojo. Eroding, and then so I'm still working on my tutorial level here. So this is just uh, showing that the super uh, the super weapon does. And then I added basically the same kind of iconography um, in this case because I wanted people to just be able to exit um, when they wanted to, um, even though there'll be more tutorial bits. Um, and then there's a known issue right now where. Um, it doesn't seem like you can go back to a previous level that you'd previously loaded. I've already let Sunny know. But yeah, that's it. Um, without further ado, thanks everyone that's been watching. Thanks for hanging out. Ooh, we're on a black screen there. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll catch you next time. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down in the section. I'll drop this tutorial video um, on the Discord server, uh, server service. <laughs> Discord server for Schmuck Creator as well. And I'll talk to you everyone soon. Thank you. Bye.